So a lot of people are going to be shocked that they're going to get this basic math problem wrong. And the problem is the following. The difference of 17 and 19 is equal to what number? All right, so without using a calculator, put your answer into the comment section. Then, of course, I will explain why a lot of people are going to get this simple problem wrong. But uh, before we get started, let me quickly introduce myself. My name is John, and I have been teaching middle and high school math for decades. And if you need assistance in learning math, check out my math help program at tcmathacademy.com. You can find a link to that in the description below. And if this video helps you out, or if you just enjoy this content, make sure to like and subscribe, as that definitely helps me out. Okay, so pretty straightforward question here. The difference of 17 and 19 is equal to, well, the most common answers are going to be one of these numbers right here. Now, somebody got a nice little happy face and an A+, plus, so who is that? Well, listen, if you answer two, well, that is incorrect because the correct answer is negative two, but don't feel bad because a lot of people said two, and uh, if you said two, again, that's a very common error because the error here is that people don't really understand the actual definition of difference. They have a sense of what that word means, but there's actually a specific mathematical definition. And matter of fact, let me go ahead and show it to you right now. Okay, so the difference of A and B, and A and B are two numbers, and look at the order of this sentence here, right? So it's quote unquote, the difference of A and B is equal to A minus B. So the number, the first number comes first, and the second number comes second, and this right here uh, is, these two numbers are uh, separated by the subtraction operation. So the difference of 17 and 19, we have to consider the order. That's 17 minus 19, not 19 minus 17. And this has huge implications when we actually calculate this out. All right, so let's go ahead and uh, see this in action. So the difference of 17 and 19, remember the first number is our A, the second number is our B. So the difference of two numbers is A minus B. So A again is 17 and B again is 19. So the question here really is 17 minus 19 is equal to what? Well, in this case, you need to know a little bit about working with positive and negative numbers. And if you forgot how to work with positive and negative numbers, let me teach you very quickly. And the best way to teach you this, um, at least in my experience, is to use the concept of money. All right, but before I show you that, let's go ahead and just review something here. So in math, what I can do is I can change a subtraction problem to an addition problem. And the way I can do that is uh, change this subtraction operator into an addition operator, but scoot that negative sign over to the number to the right. So seven, uh, 17 minus 19 is the same thing as 17 plus negative 19. All right, now uh, let's go ahead and use this concept of money to explain why the answer here is negative two. So uh, 17 is like you having $17. This is a positive number, okay? So let's suppose you have $17, of course, that's great. Now, negative numbers is like you having debt, all right? Now, if you owe someone $19, but you have only $17, what's your financial situation? Well, this person's gonna come, to you, come up to you and they're gonna say, hey, give me my $19 back. You're gonna say, listen, I don't have $19, but I'll give you my $17, but I still owe you $2, okay? So you still have $2 worth of debt. So this is just a quick kind of basic, basic explanation of positive and negative numbers. But the main idea here, why a lot of people got this wrong is because they didn't understand the actual specific mathematical meaning of the difference. And again, this is a very common source of confusion when people are learning basic mathematics. As a matter of fact, let's go ahead and take a look at the rest of these um, words that are associated with these basic math operations, which would include sum, uh, product, and quotient. So we'll take a look at that right now. But first, let's take a look at this. And that is just a quick request for you to subscribe to my YouTube channel. If you are getting any value out of this or maybe some entertainment, well, the best way to support my channel is just to quickly hit that subscribe button. And if you're gonna do that, 
hit that notification button as well. And if you're new to my YouTube channel, uh, you'll find well over 2,000 plus videos from basic math to advanced math and everything in between. My passion is really to try to teach math in a clear and understandable way or to at least make the topic or subject um, interesting. So let's go ahead and take a look at the rest of these math words. And we'll start off with the sum. Okay, now here, uh, the sum is pretty straightforward because uh, order doesn't make a difference. So the sum of A and B is equal to A plus B, but even if we had B plus A, would still be okay, right? So the sum, well, we're, well, particularly when we're talking about positive numbers, right? But just to be very specific about the definition of the sum, the sum of A and B is equal to A plus B. All right, let's go ahead and take a look at the word product. And of course, we're thinking about multiplication when we hear that word. So the product of A and B is equal to A times B or AB. We can write it this way in algebra. Anytime you have two variables next to one another, one another like this, that means multiplication. All right, so that's the product of A and B. Pretty straightforward stuff. And here is another one um, that seems to give uh, people problems just because they kind of forgot what the quotient is. This is kind of like the difference, but the quotient of A and B, again, this has specific order. That means A, or this means A, and uh, A divided by B, excuse me. Now we could write this this way as well as a fraction, A divided by B or A divided by B like this. That is the quotient. All right, so just a quick um, refresher on what the difference is. Please do not feel bad if you got this wrong. Now, if you want to refresh some of your basic math skills along the line of what we're talking about, you got to check out my Math Foundations course. It's a quick uh, three-chapter mini uh, math course, but it really is a great review for basic mathematics. So this would include things like place value, decimals, percent, fractions, positive and negative numbers, order of operations. These are just like the foundational basics that everybody should have. So if you're interested, you can find a link to that in the description. And if you want to take it a step further, if you're like, hey, Mr. YouTube Math Man, I want to learn more than basic math, well, then check out my Math Skills Rebuilder course. Uh, you'll find a link to that as well. In that course, I teach you basic math, but I also teach you a ton of algebra, geometry, even some basic trigonometry and probability and statistics. And if you're in any other math course like Algebra 2, Algebra 1, Geometry, etc., you'll find links to those courses in the description as well. Okay, so with all that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your mathematics adventures. Thank you for your time and have a great day.